My name is Truna Kamath. I'm Indian and uh, I reside in Dubai. I work with Emirates National Bank of Dubai. And I would like to share my experience, a life-changing experience, I must say. I used to feel extremely fatigued, extremely fatigued and short of breath. And uh, I was wondering why, because it's been a, you know, uh, it's not that I've lived my life completely sedentary. I have been active. I have two children. I've been doing everything by myself going to office, I drive, I work, I cook, like just any other working woman. I'm on my toes. My profession is learning and development. I'm used to standing on my feet for eight hours and talking on various subjects like banking policies, retail products, sales, leadership training, stress management, time management, which requires a lot of energy. So I was like, why am I tired now? So when I went for a regular checkup, I mentioned that to the doctor and I thought, you know, maybe uh, trainings and day-to-day uh, -day commitments and uh, project reports and, you know, all the work and which and children and home and managing everything and stuff like that. There was a repeat episode of uh, throwing up blood uh, and another one followed by that. I still didn't contact the doctor. I think it's just some... I took an avomind mind like to control the nausea, uh, you know. I did not mention to my children because they would panic. While driving in the, uh, you know, from uh, on the main road, the, you know, uh, to Dubai, because uh, head office is in Dubai, I live in Sharjah. It's about uh, uh, an hour journey. Uh, there was slow traffic and suddenly I felt uh, like throwing up and I got out of the car and I vomited blood profusely again. And then I was feeling dizzy. Uh, you need to go to India because India has the best medical services and uh, the liver transplant uh, facilities. So, all right, so I got the discharge. I will introduce you to a liver transplant specialist, uh, uh, Dr. Rajiv Lochan. I said, sure, let's go. So by then I was okay. I would travel normal. I was fine. I was not out of uh, mind or consciousness and stuff like that. I could travel comfortably. Everything was okay. In Dubai, I was told that uh, you have not much time. As a mother, my first concern was my daughters. They are 17 and 15 year old. They are teenagers yet. They are not independent yet. And I was under denial. I'm not going to die because I have to see them independent. That's all matters to me. Took the next flight and I reached Mangalore on the 9th. Immediately, I was received with, a, you know, by a transport from the hospital. I didn't have to worry about anything. Uh, I got in. They started pre-op immediately, you know, Dr. Lohit Shetty, Dr. Rajiv, Dr. Radhika uh, from Bangalore, they flew in. The crew of liver transplant, uh, who is Dr. Vidya Bhatt, uh, and everybody else who is a part of the surgical process, they all were there. For me, we had a, a like a recording for the legal purposes where we had to introduce ourselves uh, and my father had to give a video recording of a consent and we did the initial, uh, you know, uh, uh, formalities which has to be done and then I was moved to pre-op, apparently 12 to 14 hours of surgery and uh, I was rolled out. Doctors say that I was in senses way more faster than he expected. I came back to senses. And uh, when I opened my eyes, I saw Dr. Rajiv who operated on me, uh, Dr. Lohit in front of me and uh, my husband, uh, my two children. I was like, I'm alive, you know, and uh, I had tears in my eyes of happiness. I'm alive, you know, uh, and I, I can see my daughters in front of me, my husband in front of me. I can see Dr. Rajiv, Dr. Lohit and the whole crew there. And uh, the nursing team in KMC, I would definitely say they are a perfectionist uh, with respect to knowledge, with respect to dedication, with respect to being genuine, uh, genuine prayers, personal touch. Uh, it's not like you're doing some work and you're finishing it off. No, they held me uh, through physical pain, physical dependencies, you know, because I was literally bedridden. And uh, I have never been dependent in my life, you know. And this is the first time I was so dependent on somebody for something which is very basic. And uh, the crew, the doctors at KMC were 24 hours 
on top of my uh, progress. The nursing, the scheduling, uh, it's such a smooth transitioning, I tell you, where I was taken aback with their service. There are times I have uh, given up. I cannot take the pain. There is a tear which has dropped and one tear drops. There is four nurses running to me saying, what happened? No, you know, you cannot. Uh, you can do it. So, apart from your self-willpower, they held me always. They really rose me up and um, today is my discharge and I don't believe it. Sometimes, uh, you know, when I go into my brief sleep and when I open my eyes, I feel it's all a dream. It's literally uh, a dream. Uh, but I got a new life. I would like to call out to the nursing team, the operative uh, team of um, KMC for their dedicated, selfless time with lots of uh, love, lots of personal touch. I would still would like to call out few names who have been close to my heart, uh, Sister Brianna, Sister Christine, uh, Sister Shobha. They have been very, very kind, I would say. Everybody was amazing. There's nothing that you can talk, you know, even as a feedback, not even a feedback or areas of improvement. Uh, Dr. Vidya Bhatt, amazing. What a dedication. I have special respect for doctors and when I see that such young doctors and stuff, I'm like, wow, uh, that's something, uh, you know, uh, I would want to be. And never to forget the maintenance and the cleaning uh, team. While all this is happening, uh, the sterilization, the sanitization of the place is so crucial because of infection. They ensured, they don't have to be told, they are just on it, continuously sanitizing the place, continuous and they're multitasking. Yeah. Thank you so much KMC team for handling this situation, being a part of this journey and making it way easier than I, you know, if I was left alone or if I did not get this kind of service. They made it feel very easy uh, to, for me. They made me feel very comfortable. And uh, I would recommend, uh, God forbid, anybody in my family members close to my heart or friends or anybody, KMC it is, trust me. And they are worth it. So all in all, amazing. Uh, thank you, kudos to uh, uh, KMC. Thank you so much.